Hi, in one of the previous videos, we showed you how to set up a Thingsbird server using the container. And in this video, we're going to use it for Bluetooth asset tracking. We'll explain what you can achieve using multiple knots and Bluetooth tags, so you can visually understand the idea behind it. Configuration examples are not going to be shown this time. For that, please check the written guide. Multiple knots and tags, huh? How is it going to work? A quick introduction information needs to be mentioned first. The Bluetooth tags, like TGBT5 in or out models, periodically, depending on the configured interval, broadcast information about themselves over Bluetooth advertising channels. The knot acts as the Bluetooth scanner and listens on the advertising channels to capture broadcasted payloads. So if the tag's broadcasted payload appears under the knot scanner Bluetooth interface, it basically confirms that the tag is inside the KNOS Bluetooth operating range. Now, imagine adding more KNOS to the topology and spreading them out, like shown on the screen. We will have different KNOTs covering different areas. And if we move the tag from KNOT A area into KNOT C area, KNOT A will no longer receive new Bluetooth payloads, as the tag will be too far away, while KNOT C will start receiving new payloads from this specific tag. Shortly about distances, KNOS Bluetooth range can be impacted by 2.4 GHz interference for surrounding materials. In line of sight with no interference, the distance at which the KNOT is able to capture the tag's broadcasted payload can be up to 180 meters. Inside buildings, inside office spaces, the distance will surely go down. The actual range for your specific topology will need to be checked on site. But you can also manually reduce it by lowering the transmit power of the tag itself using the configuration app. Back to the idea. What you can do is you can make each knot using a scheduler feature, run a script from the written guide. When run, the script forms a JSON message containing information about all the tags that the knot finds inside its scanned payload list and then the script sends the JSON message via MQTT to the server. As a result, the server will indicate which specific node have sent the message, and that basically tells you in which node's operating range your tag slash asset is currently in. To help you understand it better, let's take a look at the topology that is shown on the screen. We have some warehouses and some vehicles. We also have a few tags that are attached to assets that we wish to track. We would like to know in which specific warehouse or in which specific nodes range the asset is currently in and how much time it spent there, whether the asset is traveling between warehouses and how much time it spends on the road. If TGBT5 out tags are used, what was the surrounding temperature during all this time? And knot GPS coordinates to track the vehicle, the knot itself. Just follow instructions from the written guide and we can create a dashboard that will highlight important information. We can add a chart that indicates which knot reported the tag to be within its range. Per the screen, we can see that our asset equipped with the tag was inside the warehouse number 1, knot 1 range, until 11.30. Was inside the vehicle, knot 2 range, traveling till 12.05. Then it was stored inside the second warehouse, it appeared in knot 3 range, until 12.30. And now, it is back on the road again, back inside knot 2 range. If our outer tags are used, we can also add a chart that indicates temperature changes. On the screen, we can tell that the temperature has been dropping slightly. And last but not least, we can add knot GPS coordinates visualization. Now we know that our tag is within knot 2 range, knot 2 is inside our office building based on the map and the temperature is slightly going down. I hope this video was informative and useful, and if you did like the content, please subscribe. Thank you for watching.